All right, so week number one at General Assembly is in the bag. I just wanted to give you a brief overview of what we've been going through, what I've learned, and how my experience has been overall so far. So starting before week one, we had prep work. Prep work took me about 10 hours to do in total. It's all on General Assembly's private platform. And in that prep work, they go over HTML, CSS, a little bit of JavaScript, and some terminal work as well. Like I just mentioned, this was pretty much review work for me. Nothing too crazy. I learned a little bit and got a lot of reinforcement for the things that I've already learned. So that was all solid. There was an optional orientation just a few days before the boot camp started. I had to miss this because I was on a 12 hour drive back home from a trip, but I did watch the recap and there was some uh, really good material in terms of just preparing for what is to come in boot camp. And we also got a chance to meet some of our instructors as well. Class didn't start until 3 p.m., so I had some things to get done. I had some business to attend to with my work. I had some personal business, and I also went to the gym, had lunch, and then was able to get to class a few minutes early after doing all of that. The total time commitment for this boot camp comes to about 20 to 30 hours a week. I'm putting in a little bit of extra work on the side to learn additional skills while I'm going through the boot camp, which is one of the big reasons why I'm taking the part-time program. The schedule time of the class itself though is 20 hours a week and that's spread between four days. That is four hours on Tuesday, four hours on Wednesday. Every other week on Thursday, we have career services, which is a two hour meet, and then a full day on Saturday. Day one was Tuesday. We had a long introduction session and got to know each other a bit. This was our first time seeing everybody. So we had a long intro session, got to know our instructors, and then went over a review of the curriculum that we'd be covering through the whole course and then in separate modules as well. We had what they call install fest, which is where you install a ton of tools onto your computer packages, etc., to get started with developing. These were primarily tools that I already had just from my previous experience. So I, Primarily just watched along and uh, learned a little bit of the nuances of the different packages that I had already been using. And then we spent a few hours looking into the command line tool or the terminal. Basically what a terminal is, for those of you that don't know, whenever you navigate through a file system on a computer, you're navigating through a GUI or GUI, which stands for Graphic User Interface. Before GUIs existed, it, all the navigation of files was done through a terminal or command line application. Basically, it allows you to navigate through your files and uh, read, update, delete, etc. the contents within your file system on your computer. This is really important for future iterations of programming when you're using Git and GitHub to use version control to update your code. I was really glad we went into this right up front because I actually hadn't done a ton of research or studying on the terminal line specifically. So I'm anticipating a lot of the first module is gonna be primarily review for me, but it was nice getting into the terminal because I was learning things day one, which was really awesome. We had some homework for the week, which involved using the terminal to create, delete, and manipulate a series of files. It was actually in the format of kind of a video game. It was a little cheesy, but it was really good for learning how to actually work through the terminal. On Thursday, we had our first outcomes day, which was similar to day one of classwork. It was very introductory, getting to know our specific career coach, getting to know each other a bit, talking about our goals, what our ideas are for the future and why we're in a coding bootcamp in the first place. We also went over some really cool websites and tools that can be used to find jobs or get familiar with uh, businesses in your geographic location. My career coach seems pretty solid. If I was judging him just on his experience in the tech field, I would say that his experience is a little bit limited, but that's not all of the criteria that makes a good career coach. So uh, look forward to more updates in the future. Make sure to subscribe. I'll be making regular updates on my experience at General Assembly. So if you're interested in this bootcamp, it'd be a good idea to stick around. Finishing off the week, we learned about HTML and CSS basics, and we had some homework that is due in a week that is just some relatively basic CSS manipulation, nothing too crazy. Um, a little bit of advanced stuff. Like I definitely learned going through CSS, the CSS module, uh, some advanced selection techniques, etc. I anticipate the next few weeks will be similar in that it'll be primarily review for me. I've learned a good amount of HTML and CSS and I've covered some JavaScript as well. So once we get into advanced JavaScript topics, which is coming up pretty quick, um, things are going to be picking up for me in terms of difficulty and I'll be picking up a lot of new skills at that time as well. But for now, it's primarily review, relearning things and really reinforcing and making solid these concepts. So it's far from wasted time. 
Because of that, right now I'm focusing a lot on networking. And speaking of that specifically, I've actually decided within my cohort to make a study hall every week. So I've uh, signed up for a Zoom account and we're going to be doing study hall every single week for 30 to 90 minutes, just depending on what the topics of the week are. In this, uh, we have a couple of the students that are already interested. We just did our first one a couple of days ago and it was a really productive session. We covered a lot of the stuff from the previous week and then also talked about some uh, ancillary tools that are used within the tech industry. So it provides a ton of value. We're gonna be learning a lot as just a study hall separate from class. So I'm really excited for that. We actually have one member who is currently a project manager and is looking to shift into development. So he knows a lot of high level concepts about planning out a week, planning out a project, what it takes to be a higher ready developer. He's actually hired software developers before, so there's a ton of value to be added there by him and by other people in the group as well. In my mind, this is probably gonna end up being one of the most valuable resources of bootcamp itself. In addition to career sources, meeting and establishing relationships now will be invaluable. So I'm making sure that I'm spending a lot of time now investing into that. Overall, I've gotten a lot of value by being in this boot camp. I know it's just been one week, but um, it's going to continue to pick up and I have a lot of skills to learn. I've really valued the career coaching so far. I'm working with some external mentors as well to help me get through boot camp and prepare for the job market. And I'm really excited for what comes out of study hall. I'm very optimistic of the results that are going to be coming out of that. So Make sure to subscribe if you want more updates related to this and I will see you soon.